Hello, right. I have questions from my students about getting the variance. Well, in accounting format, it usually will show one year compared with the next the following years, and to see how much changes is it as compared to the last year sales. So year one being the last year, year two means the current years. So, for example, six hundred for the badminton items, six hundred sales last year, but this year five hundred. So there's a changes of sixteen points, um, a down, a down sixteen percent. So sixteen point six six seven percent of the sales. Uh, various on tennis, right? The year one, last year sales is thousand three hundred, and year two is two thousand six hundred. So there is a increase of sales by a change of hundred percent sales. So the question is, can this done in the pivot table? Well, to do this, you can't have a data that is um. Arrange in such a way where you have a date and then you put the day, uh, so and so, right? Say for example, dash 2011 and the other one is the 1 dash 1 dash 2012, right? The year itself can't be in a, a single column. So what I mean is that it should be showing as this, where the year one sales is separated separated in one column and year two in another columns so with that we are able to do so we go and do one more right insert your tables existing worksheets let's go over here and click OK so we're gonna have the spots and then we're gonna have the sales year one sales Right, you all have that. Now here we want to take this minus this. But how do we do that? You got it. Go to get a calculated field. So where is calculated field? Right, go to options, look for calculations groups, and under fields items, look for calculated fields. There you are. So to calculate the percentage of change, you need to use the current year's minus the last year's sales and then divide it by the last year's sales. So we're going to enter a label for this new columns, right, because it's a new field. So you can say percentage change. And right here, we're going to enter a formula. We start with year 2 minus year 1. So after you get the difference, you divide it by last year sales. And then add and click OK. Here you are. Right, you have the 0 0.03. Right, this is in uh, decimal format, but you can change it to percentage by going to control one. Right, press control one, format cells to format the cells. Go to percentage and uh, adding two decimal places, and that's it. Right, so we got this close to it. Here, you can just change it. So that's it, right? This is you getting the variance for two years. Thank you for watching. This is Kent Lau.